Tomo News presents Building Collapses. That was a close call. July 29th, Shangrao City in the southeast of China. An unnamed excavator operator was instructed to take a small building down. He was pretty successful in demolishing the house, but he should have reviewed his basics about gravity. As you might have noticed, House Wrecker is good at what he does. He just completely misjudged the direction in which the building would collapse. Miraculously, no one was injured, not even him. He just made a big mess and probably got fired for smashing a machine worth several hundred thousand dollars. The video went viral in China, reaching nearly 5 million views in less than two days. Netizens left comments advising the operator to start studying physics. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't feel so safe with this guy wrecking stuff in my neighborhood. Construction site in China's Manhattan collapses. A dramatic video captured by workers shows the collapse of a building site at a multi-billion dollar construction project in Shenzhen, China. The video shows a wall slowly collapsing and dragging part of the construction site into a pit. No injuries were reported from the incident, and the collapse was reportedly caused by soft soil around the site. The 45 billion US dollar construction project, located in Shenzhen's Qianhai district, is only an hour from Hong Kong. The project is part of a planned international finance and commercial district, some are calling the Manhattan of the Pearl River Delta. The Chinese government hopes it will rival and even replace Hong Kong's central district. Eight Cal Poly students injured after garage roof collapses. This is what happens when you get too many students who are not engineers on a garage roof. Rather than raising the roof, these Cal Poly students did the exact opposite to someone's garage in San Luis or Pisbo on Saturday while celebrating St. Frati's Day, which is apparently a warm-up event for St. Patrick's Day. Eager to get to the bottom of this unspeakable disaster, we here at Tomo News consulted our resident engineer as to what could have caused the roof to give way. After looking at the footage and pictures of the aftermath, our engineer concluded that the accident was a clear case of catastrophic structural overloading. In this case, the load placed on the roof trusses by the drunken mob was clearly too much for the bearing points, or garage walls. When alcohol, music, and fist pumping were added to the equation, it resulted in a catastrophic failure that caused the whole structure to collapse like a house of cards which resulted in the load, or drunken mob, crashing to the ground in a bloody heap. From this, our expert also concluded that the students were definitely not engineers, or they wouldn't have gotten up there in the first place. Thankfully, no one was killed, although of the eight injured, one girl's leg was impaled by a large wooden splinter. No word yet on whether the Cal Poly students are planning an Amish-style barn raising to replace the destroyed garage. Um, let's not hold our breath on that one. Floor of church's chicken mysteriously collapses. Three women, Erica Azevedo, Hugolina Guerrero, and Montserrat Damien, who isn't pictured here, were at this church's chicken in Livingston, Texas, when they disappeared into the restaurant floor. The three women were working behind the counter when the ground inexplicably opened up. <laughs> swallowing the women and nearby appliances. A customer helped two of the women out of the hole. And the third climbed out on her own. All three were taken to the hospital. Responding firefighters later put out fires caused by grease that was spilled during the mysterious incident. OSHA is currently investigating what caused the floor to collapse. Five-story building collapsed in Bangladesh, seven dead. At least seven people were killed after the roof of a five-story building collapsed on Thursday in Bangladesh. At least 180 workers were working in the Sena Kalyan Sangsta factory when the roof collapsed, trapping workers underneath. 
Rescue workers recovered six bodies during the first 12 hours of the search. One more body was recovered on Friday. More than 60 people in total were reported injured. Bangladesh is known for its poor record for building safety. The cause of the collapse is still under investigation. Video shows newly built airport collapse on waiting passengers. Passengers at the Supadio International Airport in Kalimantan, Indonesia, received a less than friendly welcome on March 26th when a large section of a waiting lounge ceiling collapsed. Airport security cameras captured the frightening ceiling mishap, which thankfully resulted in only two injuries. The airport's management blamed the engineering failure on sustained heavy rains. But locals are furious. This is a new building and rain seems like a thin excuse for what was possibly a shoddy construction job. The contractor responsible made an official apology and says they're working to have the lounge restored and ready for passenger use as soon as possible. Six injured as theater ceiling in the Philippines collapses. A theater ceiling collapsed and injured six people in the Ayala Center in Cebu, Philippines. Around 8.50 p.m. on June 15, during a private screening attended by about 300 people, water started to trickle down the ceiling, which immediately turned into a cascading waterfall. Dreamscape Network Incorporated, the company that had rented the cinema for private screening, said that the soundproofing material at the back of the cinema gave way and fell before water started gushing in. Moviegoers were covered in water and ceiling plaster as they calmly evacuated the cinema led by security personnel. Fifteen minutes later, paramedics arrived to attend to those who were injured by the debris. Jeanette Japson, Cebu Holding Incorporated Corporate Communications Manager, stated that they are still investigating the matter. They added that they are still not sure what caused the collapse or where the water came from. Wall collapses and kills dozens at wedding in India. A wedding in India quickly turned from a day of celebration to a night of mourning after a storm caused a poorly constructed wall to collapse, trapping wedding guests underneath. On May 10th, the wedding festivities taking place in the city of Bharathpur were interrupted when strong winds gave way to a dust storm in the area. Wedding guests eating beside a 90-foot-long wall were joined by dozens more trying to gain shelter from the storm. Unfortunately, they picked the wrong spot. As the wind gusts picked up, the wall fell down, crushing wedding guests beneath. Reports indicate authorities pulled 24 dead bodies from the rubble, including 11 women and 4 children. At least 28 others were injured, with several remaining in serious condition. The owner of the venue has been arrested for culpable homicide not amounting to murder. At least four people are believed to have died on Thursday when a section of the under-construction Second Penang Bridge in Malaysia fell on vehicles. The bridge, scheduled to be finished in September, connects Batu Mong with Batu Kawan. A section of the structure collapsed at about 7 p.m. as vehicles were passing underneath. The section that collapsed is a part of a flyover connecting an expressway to the bridge. According to reports, at least one car and a motorcycle were buried under the structure. The cause of the collapse has yet to be determined, but the authority in charge of construction will launch a full investigation into the incident. A half-built church collapsed in northern Mexico on Sunday morning, killing a young boy and injuring at least 28 others, the latest death caused by weeks of severe weather across the country. The unfinished Santa Clara Catholic Church, located in the city of Juarez, consisted of a steel and cinder block frame with a tarpaulin roof. Reports said there were around 200 worshippers inside the building at the time of the collapse, which was caused by a build-up of rainwater during recent torrential rains. The weight of the rainwater put force on the tarpaulin, causing the supporting structure to collapse. Witnesses said they heard several loud cracks and people had started making their way out of the building when the roof caved in. The collapse comes as large parts of Mexico have been battered by intense rainfall in recent weeks that has caused mass flooding, destroyed roads and bridges. 23 people were injured in Cambodia's capital Phnom Penh after a garment factory rest area and walkway collapsed. At around 11.30 a.m., workers left the factory to take their lunch break on a sheltered platform above a pond. Around 20 workers were standing on the platform and eating when the structure began crumbling beneath them. The whole structure collapsed on top of workers and many of them fell into the water. Some of the workers tried to run from the shelter to escape, but the walkway also collapsed. The workers were taken to two different hospitals. None of them were seriously injured.
Thank <laughs> you.